Hey guys, this is Surya from Skilling. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another video in our civil engineering career series. The first video in this particular series was about the top five job roles, the companies that recruit, and the skills you need to get these job roles as well. And as I said in the previous video, the more important aspect of it is the projects you need to work on in order to get these jobs. In this video, we'll cover what projects you need to work on in order to get these job roles. Let's get into this video. I have written down the five or six projects that can provide you the experience that you need to get into these job roles. You can pick any of these projects, work on it, and work on multiple of these projects so that you kind of move forward, right? The first project is for trainee design engineer. If you are looking to apply for a trainee design engineer role, then these are the things you need to showcase. You need to showcase hands-on knowledge on modeling, calculation, and application of loads. So you need to model the structure, calculate the loads, and also have an understanding of how to apply those loads in a particular software, right? You need to have a good understanding of design of structures. Usually it is RCC buildings and industrial buildings. If you have designed RCC or industrial buildings, you have great opportunities to showcase your ability as a good civil engineer. If you ask me what software you should basically start with, probably you start with full-fledged AutoCAD where you start from the drafting till the 3D design and detailing aspect of it. Right? That's the, your first project that we would kind of recommend. The second project is for junior structural engineer. I'll kind of get into it. So if you are applying for a junior structural engineer, you need to showcase projects in which you have performed steel detailing projects covering all concepts of Revit. Right? Revit usually is used for steel detailing. So uh, you need to kind of showcase a project which covers all aspects of Revit like Dynamo, Navis work, scheduling and estimation, 3D rendering and uh, flash detection. So if you have a project where you are using all of these concepts, your ability to apply for the job becomes really high, right? Uh, because when you showcase these projects, what happens is in an interview, you are going to be questioned on these aspects of it. Since you have worked on a project, your ability to crack that interview is increased, right? So think about that aspect as well. The third uh, job role is design engineer. So out here, uh, something that we would recommend is working on any high-rise building designs. So if you have a project where you work on any high-rise building design uh, in a seismic zone, by uh, understanding the seismic zone calculations and building high-rise, you can also use foundation design using ETAPS. In addition to that, designing foundations using ETAPS is a very, very interesting project that you can work on. Right? This is for uh, design engineer. The fourth job role is discipline engineer civil. The project that you can work on out here is again project on RCC building design, building a whole RCC uh, building, steel industrial building project, right? Uh, where you basically work on preparation of DBR to final report. You start from the preparation of DBR and go till the final report, and the whole uh, aspect out in the middle allows you a detailed understanding of steel industrial buildings as well right that's what you need to do you need to also include gravity and lateral loads in these kind of projects so that's an additional advantage when you showcase your projects the fifth job role that i'm going to speak about is structural design engineer right out here what i have spoke about is project on steel detailing using tecla right if you can work on a project on steel detailing using tecla and uh, if you can work on connection design for steel detailing using LIMCON, it provides you a great opportunity to become a structural design engineer. If you want to take it to the next step, I've also added some add-on projects. Say for example, some of the add-on projects is design of composite structures and design of tensile structures. So these are add-on projects that you can definitely work on to kind of improve your portfolio. And definitely one thing that you need to understand is if you work on all these projects, you will have strong civil engineering fundamentals and structural analysis. So those are the aspects that you need to work on. When you speak about projects, why is it important to work on a project? Well, think about it. You're a fresher civil engineer coming out of college. There are at least a lakh civil engineers who graduate every year. Well, your friend and you will have the same resume. You will put AutoCAD, Tecla, Revit, Stack Pro, because you think just putting the softwares on your resume will get a job. Well, it does not work like that. 
in an interview they are going to ask you to showcase your expertise in a particular tool right the best way to showcase your expertise in a particular tool is by working on projects previously so you can showcase these are the projects that i have worked on create a portfolio and present it in the interview that kind of provides a hook for the interviewer to ask questions the interviewer kind of starts asking questions on things that you have worked on and when he asks questions on things that you have worked on your ability to answer them in a more crisp and precise way is great and that kind of helps you get the job right so think about it think about what i said well if you are asking hey great so you are all of these information are really helpful but back and kind of start working on these projects well that is where skilling comes in skilling provides a master course in high rise building design and analysis where we cover pretty much everything that is out there in this book right and much more as well in the next video i am going to showcase how you can get all these skills in the next 6 to 8 months if you spend quality time on developing your portfolio Right. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe it, and share this video as well. Thanks.